The Turkish Angora, which is popular in its native Turkey. is possibly the only domestic cat kept and raised in a zoo. For a time, these beautiful, intelligent, and regal cats were all thought to be deaf more on that later, and they were used to extensively in crossbreeding to build up the Persian breed that they were nearly driven to extinction. While the Turkish Angora is still a rare breed today, it has a devoted following among people who want a soft, visually appealing long-haired cat. Appearance According to the breed standard, the Turkish Angora is a medium-sized cat with a slender, delicate appearance. Angoras from the Ankara Zoo in Turkey have a slightly larger build, but all Angoras have a dignified, regal demeanor and carry themselves with grace. The Angora coat is long, soft, and available in a wide range of colors and variations. Although white is the most common colors, and the only color produced at the Ankara Zoo Turkish Angoras can also be found in black, reds, browns, and grays, as well as tabby, tortoiseshell, and bickler variations. Their heads are small and round, with wide as set ears and large. Almond a shaped eyes that can be amber, green, blue, or a heterochromatic blue to amber or blue green combination. Temperament The Turkish Angora is a very intelligent animal. They are extremely social cats that form strong bonds with their family units, though they frequently choose one person in particular to bond. Turkish Angoras enjoy spirited play, whether with humans or on their own. A variety of toys will keep them entertained, and their independence means they will do well if left alone for a few hours. Deafness is a genetic trait in Turkish Angoras. This does not appear to affect their quality of life, and deaf angoras live normal, healthy lives. Living Needs Turkish angoras get along well with children if they are properly socialized, though very young children should be warned against pulling their long hair or tugging on tails. They are not as accepting of being handled by small children as other breeds, such as the Himalayan. If properly introduced, Angoras are very accepting of other cats and dogs. However, they do just as well on their own and do not typically exhibit many stress behaviors when left alone. Turkish Angoras, like all cats, require a variety of toys and a few scratching posts to keep them entertained and save your couch from claw marks. They are also known to be loft perchers, so provide them with a high vantage point from which to observe the house. Your Angora's favorite spot will be a tall cat tree, mounted cat shelves, or a high tub cat hammock. If they are not assigned a tall seat, they will most likely take one on top of a bookcase or door. Care The Turkish Angora's long, silky coats have no undercoat, making grooming a breeze. However, this does not mean you can skip grooming, as they require brushing one or two times per week to keep their coats shiny and looking good. Their hair is fine enough that it does not clump or mat easily, but it will continue to grow until they are about two years old, so brushing sessions will become more involved as your kitten grows. Keeping an eye on their ears and around their eyes will also be important, as longer fur can trap dirt in those areas, potentially leading to infection. A damp cloth wrapped around the eyes and ears should be sufficient to remove any buildup. Health For a long time in the 19th century and before, it was assumed that all Turkish Angoras were deaf. While this is not the case, it is a more serious issue in the breed than in most. The gene for white fur and blue eyes appears to be linked to the breed's hearing. As a result, White cats with blue eyes are more likely than average to be deaf. This possibility also applies to on-eye cats, with the side with the blue eye being deaf. Another rare but well-known genetic illness in the breed is hypertrophic. Cardiomyopathy, a cardiac condition that typically affects male cats between the ages of 2 and 6. History the Turkish Angora's wild ancestors were among the first cats domesticated in the Fertile Crescent of the Middle East. 
This outbreeding process was so prolific that it nearly drove the Angora to extinction by the end of the 19th century, as their own bloodlines were sacrificed to build up the Persians. In the early 20th century, caretakers in their home country began collecting white Angoras for breeding and preservation in the Ankara Zoo, saving the Turkish Angora from extinction. Since then, the zoo has bred and raised Angoras. But it wasn't until the 1960s that it began selling cats for export outside of Turkey, when breeding pairs began making their way to Canada and the United States. Fun Facts While Turkish Angoras and Turkish Vans share a common ancestor, they are genetically distinct breeds. The Angora can still be seen at the Ankara Zoo in Turkey. If properly introduced, Turkish Angoras are tolerant of other cats and dogs. However, they do just as well on their own and do not typically exhibit many stress behaviors when left alone. This is a video about the very intelligent and adorable Turkish Angora cat. Of course, you don't want to miss out on any other interesting facts about cats and other animals. So, don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification bell to receive the most recent video updates from us. Thank you greetings from the channel to increase.